Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Paulo Stanley and this is a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating user interface animations and prototypes. On this session, we're going to have an intro to the animation panel where we're going to be able to use different keyframes, different types of easing and even springs and even some delays between screens and, and objects and makes animation pretty cool. So enough talk, let's go ahead and do that. So on this lecture, we're going to learn about creating custom animations. And we're going to do this by uh, connecting two uh, screens, two artboards. And we're going to make this uh, card grow into a detailed uh, screen, full screen like this. Their elements are the same, well, almost the same. Uh, and we're going to make uh, custom animations between them. So I have a sketch file here. If you don't have it, go to your resources or to the descriptions of this video, and then you'll find the sketch file there. So you can play around with it. And I'm going to go to principle. And here in principle, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to import my uh, sketch file. So here I have, I have it here. I have both artboards and now I can start adding events. So to create an animation between these two screens. So I'm going to add an event to this whole card and I'm going to, when it's tapped, it will go to the next uh, screen. And then I'm going to do the opposite from here when, um, when you tap on this uh, square, I'm going to add a tap that will take you back to the previous screen. And right now, because I may name these uh, different layers, for example, this one is called image big, and this one over here is also called image big. Obviously, this one is called uh, hello, and over here is called hello too. And all of these, uh, for example, title, title is over here. So principle by default is going to create animations uh, between the screens of these elements that are named the same. So if I click on them, it creates an animation of those two. And if I want to edit the animations that uh, principal created, I can just tap on this uh, arrow that, that was created between the screens. And then here I can use different keyframes to delay the animations, or I can also change the, by default, it gives you an ease in, ease out, uh, uh, easing uh, and I can change it to spring to linear or to none so uh, yeah that gives me a lot of control and I can make them even a little bit uh, slower if I want to uh, just by dragging different keyframes and I can uh, do this individually by each screen and each property on each layer okay so uh, now that I have this it looks up uh, it's starting to look good but obviously uh, uh, there are some elements that are not uh, they are not being animated. Uh, the problem here is that, for example, this card is only here, but it's not over here. So it just disappears, and and when you go back from this screen to this screen, uh, the card just appear out of nowhere. So what we have to do is uh, create a dummy. So I'm on, on this screen too of this same card. So I'm going to copy it, and on, over here on this artboard, I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to move it outside the screen. And that way, when I create the animation, now it looks like that card is going uh, away. It's going uh, outside the screen. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. And also, I can see how the header just appears and disappears. And if I want to create a smoother transition, I can just choose this header. And I'm going to copy it. And over here, I'm going to paste it to. And I'm going to put it outside. But also, I'm going to change the opacity of it to 0. And if I preview it, I'm going to make this preview a little bit bigger so we can see it. I can see now that it's uh, it's it's coming from the top and also hiding when I go to the detail page. And also I can see that the description on this uh, screen, it just appears out of nowhere. So what I can do is the same. Now from this screen, from this artboard, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it over here. And over here, I'm going to change the opacity of it to zero. And now it should create a transition between them. So it creates a a nice transition, but um, I also want it to be to move a little bit. So I'm going to move it, like uh, move it uh, like 30 pixels uh, down, and then it just appears. And I'm also going to uh, delay that transition. So I'm going to select the animation between this screen and this screen. I'm going to select it right by going here on this arrow, and I'm going to select the copy layer, this one, and I'm going to uh, change this by creating a delay and I'm going to move all of these uh, uh, keyframes a little bit to the right so the animation starts after all of these animations are almost finished so let me zoom this so we can see it in action let me zoom up and you know what I'm going to actually put it like this so we can I'm going to grow it and I'm and now I can see it 
see how uh, the animation occurred after uh, the other animations almost were almost finished. And that way, uh, it just creates a nice transition. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do this the opposite on this transition. On this transition, uh, the copy uh, layer, I'm going to make it disappear right away. One of the first things that disappears. So I'm going to do this by selecting these keyframes and make, making them a little bit uh, making the animation a little bit faster. So I preview, I go to my preview and it just disappears really quickly. That way the card that appears from the bottom appears uh, once the copy has disappeared too. And now I want to, right now it's making all the animations using an ease in, ease out, which is nice, but sometimes I want something uh, a little bit fancier, like a uh, spring animation. So for example, this hello, I want it to bounce once it appears and, this, and, and, and it disappears when, once it grows and it shrinks. So I can do this by going here, for example, here, and then here, instead of uh, the default animation, I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to, from default, I'm going to choose spring. And now uh, I'm going to do the same with the other animation, the one that comes from the from the cards to the full screen. And I'm going to do the same with this guy. Sorry, this guy I selected, and then I select all these keyframes. And then I'm going to say instead of uh, default, I'm going to select spring, and I'm going to preview it. And now see how it bounces once it appears, which is pretty cool, pretty nice, and uh, sometimes that's what I want. So there you have it. That's the basics on creating custom animations by using keyframes, easing curves, and springs, which creates really cool effects.